On this video I'm going to do a quick review and unboxing of this GorillaPod and I'm going to show you 10 ways to use a Joby GorillaPod hybrid. So let's roll the intro! Hi everyone, welcome to MedPack where we unpack your next product and hey, if you don't have subscribed until now to this channel, please consider subscribing. Tripods are on the market for a long time but I wanted to buy something more compact and versatile than a tripod and that's why I buy this Joby GorillaPod Hybrid. So let's unbox its product and after the review I will show you 10 ways how to use it. Let's see what is important. And here we have the star of the show. So you can see that the build quality, it's amazing. You can see the rubber parts, very high-end quality. Here is where you're going to adjust the head. The quick release, you just have to press this one and it will come out. Also, you have this bubble level to level your footage that I think that is something quite good to have on our Gorilla Pot. So the first way that you can use your Gorilla Pot, imagine that you want to vlog. If you have to grab your camera, the arm will be too close to the camera and obviously the camera will sit much closer to you. So how you do it is very very simple, you just have to bring the legs together, you bend the bottom on your direction, you grab it there, in that way the arm is not in the way and the camera also sits further away from you and it will be much more comfortable to vlog. The second tip is the mini jab effect and how you do it. So the mini jab effect is very very easy to do, so imagine that you want to do this effect with this object in this case is a flash let me know in the comments below which ones you like it but i really like this tv show so the way that you do is very very simple so you just have to grab this leg here and normally i put two fingers on one of the other legs just to give a little bit more stabilization and after you just have to bend slowly in the direction of the object that you want to film another way that you can do this effect and if you want to have more control you put one of your hands in one of the legs you grab the last ball and after you just have to do the movement and slowly moving in the direction of the object but obviously in that case the object will be much much closer so be careful of which lenses you are using in that moment the other way that you can use this gorilla pod is as a camera rig so it's very very easy so you just have to bend the legs like this and you put the other leg completely completely straight you put this leg on top of your shoulder like this you put your hands here and after you can have a much more smooth image when you are filming. Another way that you can use your Gorilla Pod is very similar with a camera rig, but imagine that you want to film with your hands available. So imagine you want to open a door, or you want to unpack something. So in that case, you just have to bend this leg on the back. And in that case, you can not put the camera on your shoulder and after opening the door or unpack whatever you want. The next tip that I have to give you guys is basically three in one and it's all related with the wrapping mode. So how to wrap? First of all, two legs bending from the front to the back and one of the legs bending from the back to the front and they will have to look like this. And this tip is all related with cool places where you can wrap this Gorilla Pod. So the first wrapping tip that I have to give you guys is basically wrapping this Gorilla Pod to a high position so imagine you can film from the top to the bottom. The second one is obviously if you find a stick for example in the middle of the woods and you want to film and give like more or less like a drone footage you will be able to do it also. The third one is imagine that you are cleaning your house and you want to share that with someone you can wrap this on your broom or for example on your hoover and you will have a cool footage. The last tip that I have to give you guys is about wrapping so obviously you also can wrap these gorilla pods to your arm and use your arm as a slider so you're going to use like this you put one one of the hands around the camera, the other one on top of a surface and after you just have to move from one side to the other and have a more cinematic footage. Another way to do exactly the same but without using your arm, if you have a table or a corner surface that is completely flat, you can use this middle section that is between these two rubber parts, you put against and after you just have to move from one side to the other and you will have a much smoother image. Last tip that I have to give you guys is I want you to think about the Gorilla Pot not just as a tripod to use with your camera, you can use with your microphone. So imagine that you are doing a live stream and you need to mount your microphone 
someone much closer to you, you are able to do it. Or for example, you can see this light that is behind me, many times is assembled on top of this gorilla pod. So you can use with lights, with microphone, with whatever you want. Question of the day, what do you think about the Joby Gorilla Pod Hybrid? And let me know which tips are you using right now and which ones you don't knew it and you're going to use on your next footage. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't have subscribed until now. If you have any suggestions to this channel or for this video, please leave the comments below. Share this video with your family and friends if you think that is helpful. And like I said in all my videos, I see you in the next one. The second tip, imagine that you want to have a very smooth footage. footage.